Welcome to Learn to Use Your Online Class Space for the Diploma of Youth Work. We're aiming to learn how to log into the student portal and navigate around. We want to know how to stay informed, find out about what to do in the class spaces each week, and find and submit assignments. We'll also look at communicating with the teacher and other students. There's a link to the student portal on your college website up here in the top right. You can also go directly to the student portal at this address. When you arrive at the student portal, click on the login button here. If you're a new student, your username and password will have been emailed to you before the start of your course. If you're a continuing student, your username and password remain the same. If you can't find your login details, click here and there are some different options for sorting out your login, including talking to a real person at the IT help desk. When you log in, you'll see this page first, and it's a good idea to keep an eye on the college news and campus news. There are options at the top here for the news, which we can see on the screen now, then an option to go into your online class spaces. Here you have a link to your personal details, to your enrolment information and to your academic results, and then to your financial statements. There are also buttons to these sections up here. At the very top right, you can log out, change your password, go to your student email account, and also go to how-to guides in the IT help desk. These how-to guides are really useful. For example, here are instructions for how to submit assignments online. As well as using this link to your online class spaces, you can also use this drop-down menu at the top. This is useful if you're a continuing student as this menu has a link to the archived classes you did up to trimester 2, 2016. To access classes from trimester 3, 2016 onwards, click on My Current Classes. Once you go into the My Classes section, you'll see a list of your modules and also a link to the Student Lounge. Let's look at that. As you can see, the Student Lounge has lots of helpful sections. The Vet News is a great way to stay on top of what's happening with the school. There's a page with key contacts within the school and information for new students. Let's look at this compulsory workshops page. If you're studying online or blended delivery, you need to attend some workshops to develop your practical skills. There's information here and dates when the workshops are on at each campus. Get in touch with the VET coordinators to discuss which workshops you need. Now back to the Student Lounge page. There are links here to enrolment information, placement information, and a question forum where you can post questions for staff. This student forums page is good because there's a place to buy and sell textbooks and find a study buddy. There's information about jobs and volunteering here. Now back to the My Classes page. Let's go into an online class space. This module is working with young people. So let's look at getting set up for study. If I click on this subject information link, here we find a learner manual and an assessment manual. And there's a little summary of the assessments for the module. The Learner Manual has information about the module, where this module fits into the Diploma of Youth Work, and a summary of the content over the 12 weeks. The Assessment Manual, on the other hand, has the detailed instructions you need to complete your assignments. So now we've got an idea of what the module is about and the assessments, let's go back to the main page and look at what you need to do each week. Here you can see that there are instructions and resources for week one and then week two, etc. These resources may be videos, documents, slides, quizzes, that sort of thing. It's best to study these materials before your class, as you'll learn more from your teacher if you've started to think about the week's topic. If you're doing the module in blended delivery mode, your teacher will organise live online classes in a platform called Zoom. Check the announcements forum for information on days and times for these classes. Now let's talk more about assignments. Remember that the assignment questions are in the assessment manual, which you find in the subject information section. When you've done your assignment and you're ready to submit it, go to the week it's due and there'll be a submission link there. When your teacher has marked your work, you'll get an email to your student email account letting you know that your grade is ready. Okay, before we finish, let's look at how to stay up to date with class news and communicate with your teacher and fellow students. Announcements from your teacher and other ACAP staff are made in the Announcements Forum. The Discussion Forum here is a way for you to ask questions, communicate with your teacher and with your classmates. Your teacher reads the posts in here and replies to questions. 
If you have a private question for your teacher, it's best to email them, as posts in the discussion forum can be read by the whole class. Finally, there's great information in this general information section. You've got your contact details for staff, key dates, instructions for submitting assignments, forms that you may need, and links to the counselling and student learning support services. The student learning support team can help you get comfortable with online study or on-campus study and help you understand your assignments and build your study skills and confidence. Don't hesitate to get in touch with us. Good luck with your studies.